Well, actually, the Titanic was a cover for a top secret military operation I was doing when we lost a nuclear submarine called the USS Scorpion. It was carrying nuclear weapons, so I needed a cover, and the Titanic was nearby. There is no more famous shipwreck in the world. The Titanic has been found. Scientists of a joint U.S.-French expedition said today they have found wreckage of the ocean liner whose name is a legend, the SS Titanic. This is going to be a mixture of slides and video in an attempt to take you through the sequence of events that led up to the September 1 discovery of the RMS Titanic. There we are. There's Titanic. Wow. Beautiful. So this is really an emblem of the kind of research you want to do. You can come to a site, explore it, but not interfere with it. It's incredible. It's really amazing how the Titanic just never goes away. I remember when I came home and I went into my office a few days later, my desk was completely covered by 16,000 letters from children from all over the world that had two questions. The first question was, what do I have to do to do what you do? And the answer is, study hard. But the second one was, the next time you go, can I go with you? And this led to the creation of a program called the Jason Project, where every year we would take kids on their own expedition. But it only lasted a few weeks. Now with the EV Nautilus, we can have them tuning in to nautiluslive.org 24 hours a day as we boldly go where no one has gone before on planet Earth. Well, to me, one of the most exciting things about exploring the Titanic was in 2004, we were able to go back to the Titanic. Think about it, the Titanic is resting in 12,000 feet of water. And to go down it in Alvin, it took me two and a half hours to get to work in the morning and two and a half hours to get back at night. So as a result, I didn't get to spend much time on the Titanic. But when we went back in 2004 with Hercules, we were able to spend days. I could sit back and really enjoy being there and seeing many, many, many things I never saw from that porthole of that submarine. Spectacular. Steve did it, man. Outstanding. Look at that image. Look at that. There's no ambiguity in what you're looking at. That's beautiful. That's gorgeous. Look at that. Listen, we're running out of time, but I just want to thank you so much for taking us on this tour. And thank all of you for joining us uh, here at the bottom of the ocean with the RMS Titanic. I'm the first of 13 generations of my family to go to college. My mother, I remember her saying, you know, we watched all your shows on Today's Show and Tonight's Show and Tomorrow's Show and every show you can imagine, but it's too bad you found that rusty old ship. You're a great scientist and you discovered hydrothermal vents in the origin of life, but now they're only going to remember you for that rusty old ship, and moms are always right. If you want to find more about the Titanic that you've never heard before, you want to check out Flying Fish Exhibit's new exhibit called Finding Titanic, the Secret Mission, which will be at museums and science centers all over the United States.